All right, very good. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being with us once again. Um, unfortunately, today we had to postpone the previously announced webinar since uh, the, the guest speaker had to cancel due to, to personal reasons, unfortunately. Uh, instead, we will be having a photo mentoring discussion. As we know, such discussions go well with our audience. Thank you to all 18 participants who decided to share their work for critique. Some brief notices from the Malta photography webinars. Next photo shoot to be organized by the European top model Malta agency managed by Patrick Nella Spiteri and Antonella Spiteri is proposed for Saturday 13th March. However, it is still subject to confirmation and if the event is confirmed, other details as regards to timings and venue will be issued closer to the date. Patrick and Antonella Spiteri confirm that these photo shoots are being organized according to the established protocols issued by the public health. And I will give brief notices about this. Only six persons working in a group, group made up of models and photographer. You could be working with one photographer and five models, two photographer or four models, but the whole group doesn't exceed six persons. Models and photographers to observe social distancing measures at all times, models reporting at different times, example, for um, a group starts at nine and another starts at 10.30, so that you won't have many groups congregating and clashing with each other. Photographer must wear a mask at all times during the whole shoot. Models will only be allowed to remove their masks while posing during their photo shoot and have to put it back on immediately after the shoot is completed. ETM Malta have also circulated a notice amongst all models, especially those who are within the younger generation, that any of them attending parties or any other activities that go against public health measures are prohibited from attending events organized by ETM. Last but not least, ETM Malta are also working on putting up a workshop. However, more details will be given in future once it is officially launched. As usual, a couple of thanks. Thank you to Stephen Buhajar for his support to put up these webinars. Yosef Mifsud, our technical guru for streaming our webinars live on the MPS Facebook page. The MPS Exco for their ongoing support and also the Facebook group admins for supporting us by promoting our webinars on their pages, namely in surname or their Azzopardi Tony from Photography Abain al Hedbib, Kutayar Alexander from Photography Shots and Debono Johan from All Photography. I will now hand over the word to the president of the Malta Photographic Society, Stephen Buhajar, to share with us some news regarding the society. Oh, sorry, Steve, I'm, I'm just like, I'm here. Sorry, Steve, I am muted you. Okay. I, ma, ma, don't actually want mute. No I'm problem, muted. no problem. Thanks, Vince. Good evening, fellow members of the Malta Photographic Society. It looks like the interest in these weekly webinars is growing and we are doing our best to keep you abreast with photography. Today, as Vince already remarked, we have 19 Vince, not 18 images to analyze and discuss. I am happy to notice that for these 19, from these 19 authors, we have a good number of images which were submitted by participants who are attending the beginners course, others who are new to the society and images from established photographers. Well done. Fairly enough, we will allocate a maximum of five minutes on each image. I will ask some of you to analyze and give their constructive observation about the photos I will designate. Please be concise and analytical in your comments. Today's session is an opportunity to help others improve their photography, enhance one's photographic skills, give tips how to avoid certain mistakes, and encourage and inspire you attendees to improve your photographic work. If the society finds out that these sessions are needed and requested, especially by those starting photography, we are ready to organize specific workshops to help you in achieving better and artistic results. Today, I had to be brief not to take time from the tutoring session. Viz, shall we start uh, with the first image, please? Yes, yes. 
Um, Stephen, uh, yeah, yeah. you have the 19th participant. I have only two missing. Uh, but I can start. I can start with the ones the I have. Nineteenth participant because I only have eighteen in my email. Okay, maybe I don't have uh, Mr. Hogan's photo. That, that's the only one I'm missing, and the one you told me uh, sent by Emmanuel. Those are the two missing images. All right. But we'll start and and. Uh, it, it, okay, is very, sure. it, it is very important to reiterate that yes. we need to receive them on both emails. So please um, uh, uh, read the, the, the rules because then when we come to um, reconciliation, uh, reconciliation we, we, that, that would avoid the, um, such mix-ups. Mix um, uh, I'm going to share, share screen. So uh -huh. let me see. Okay. okay, so we have the first photo. As I said, we will we'll take approximately five minutes on each on each image. Okay, so let let's start. I I will ask um, uh, Joe Attart to give us his analytical um, uh, review. Thanks, Joe. So that's the first one. Interesting image. Uh, uh, there are some elements which are which are which make this photograph interesting, and perhaps we can we can um, highlight them to 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 understand better what the photographer tries to achieve here. The point of reference here seems to be, or I, I'm sure it is, the bench, the bench, the, the table and the, and the, uh, with the two benches. It is positioned in the right place in the, in the, in the third. And uh, that, that uh, sunlight falling through the, through the leaves on it helps to make it, um, to, to, to pronounce it, to make it, to make it seem better. Um, uh, then there is that tree, the, 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 the big tree, which is also on the third, which is taking a lot, a lot, a lot of attention. Um, uh, to be honest, if it, weren't, if it weren't there or if it were, it were a bit on the side, more on the side, that could be cropped. Um, I think it, it could be, it would have been a bit better. Um, uh, but that that's a part. Um, the, the, we have to we have to uh, congratulate the author on on seeing on seeing this photograph. Uh, the foreground is is dark is, is is the brown and he and he or she um, cropped well um, uh, um, enough enough from, from for the foreground. And uh, the background is interesting with, the, with those trees, although the uh, the uphill, the, the 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 angle of the horizon is going up uphill. It's natural, obviously. Um, uh, is 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 a bit is a bit um, off off putting, but uh, but then the your eyes settle on the table, and the table is in its horizontal. Um, um, Posture, so so that that uh, makes up for it. The uh, the interesting the interesting interwining of the of the uh, bows on, on on the on the leaves are uh, of make the picture. Um, uh, and if the if the uh, sky was a bit bluer, perhaps it would have even made made it a bit nicer because the 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 sun is there. I can see the sun is there, but the but the the sky through the leaves here seems to be um, white. Uh, otherwise, it is a nice shot. It is a, a quite a nice shot. Celine, as the author, would you like to ask something about your image, please? 
Um, first of all, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, I really appreciate your, your feedback. Um, it is one of my favorite photographs as well. Um, I, uh, no, I don't have any, any, any questions at this point. Mm. Celine, uh, Celine, if I may, yes. um, in a shot like this, uh -huh. although we have a, a point of reference, as I said, the table, mm -hmm. but, but the, the photograph lacks a bit, perhaps the human element. Okay. If, there, if there was a person, I mean, you can, you can plant this uh, while shooting, eh? a friend or, or, or somebody from the family or whoever. If there was somebody um, either going, um, do you see my my my, uh, my mouse? No. No, you need to annotate. Yes, oh. I can see your cursor. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, okay, it, it, there is that bright spot um, uh, on the on the right of the table, going inside there. It's uh -huh. almost like a rectangle there, uh -huh. which is which has more light on it. No, oh. no, on, on the on the on the trees on the background. The background, the back, there, there, there. Uh -huh. the, there is like a rectangle. Okay. Where there, where there is a lot of light there. In it. Uh -huh. Imagine if there was a, a, a person there, or, or he, the human element, um, it would have it would have made uh -huh. uh, it easier to follow and to, to look into the picture. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, maybe with 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 some conspicuous clothesware like a red. It could be like a red a red, a red top or or. or could be it could be it could be nicer yes it could be nicer all right very good okay thank you okay next please pauline grec Hi, Steve. Yes, can you give us your views, please, about this image, your mm. analytical opinion and analyzing this image for uh, the author and us? I think this is a very, quite a good image. It's, it's nice. I like it because you have the rubble wall. You have the leading lines from the rubble wall to the horizon. Um, the horizon is placed isn't isn't in the middle, so for me it's in a good place. Uh, the sky, the sky is is uh, is nice as well. Um, as for the previous photo, this is a good landscape. I like it, but maybe as for the previous photo, as Joe was saying, maybe if there were. Uh, there was a human element in the picture. It would give a, another a point of reference. What do the others think? Joe Smith, maybe you can give us. Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's a, it's a, I imagine the, these are all beginners, right? We're looking, yes, I, I yes, know. yes. So it's a very good, um, it's very good monochrome treatment and very good composition. As Pauline said, a very nice leading line from the corner of the print way up to the horizon. You know, um, it is not just a record shot. There's an effort in, in, in composition and in dynamics and perspective. And if I can go briefly back to Celine's image, um, Joe made a very good point about the tree. If Celine maybe would crop the image to a square format, leaving totally the tree out, um, the perspective of the image is more the depth, the path that leads away. Um, would become stronger because the way it is, your eye keeps going to the right hand side of the picture and losing the effect of the placement of the bench. And but yeah, I mean, from first two couple of images, um, really, really good coming from from beginners. Um, I'm sure there's scope for for improvement. I would like the author if he has uh, any questions. I'm going to unmute you, Kurt. Um, okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you very much, Joe. And um, sorry, I forgot your name. Pauline. The other one, Pauline. Pauline. Thank you for your comments. 
Um, uh, I think you have a point uh, about the human elements. I think maybe uh, if the person would have stood uh, on the left-hand side of the photo, maybe it would have been uh, a bit better. Kurt, um, Kurt, Kurt. Yes. You have to be careful huh? because um, placing somebody there might look very unnatural, and it might look on, close. I mean, on the left-hand side, you think? In this, in, in this image, I'm saying, not Celine's, in, in this image. Oh, yeah. I, I think the way it is, there's enough narrative. With, you don't have to include, it's my opinion, because it might look really out, out of place, you know, unless it's somebody working the fields or... Yes, or sitting on the wall, maybe. I don't think so, because the, the, the strength of the image is the wall, you know, I mean... Oh, yes. The, the beautiful curve of, of leading from the corner up to the, to the horizon. So... Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. I always preach, we have to, to learn to start saying more with less. So sometimes extra inclusions, we have to ask ourselves, do they really help in the narrative and, you know, in delivering the message or should I stop there? And I think in this case, the author um, framed well and, you know, I don't, I wouldn't add anything to it. And, uh... you know, no, yes, you have a point. Charles agrees with, with, with Joe. Um, uh, Mr. Patrick Hogan uh, is saying he would rather flip it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Peter Bartolopinis uh, said, may I suggest a vignette? It's already there. there is yes, some. it's already there. In fact, it, if you look at the lower left-hand corner, you see that there's a vignette even on Even's the lower... The right, yes. And yeah. Um, uh, okay, Stephen. Um, I'm... Thank you. May I ask Lewis to give us his... You're into still life, Lewis, so... I am into many things. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and first thing I like, I like this um, still life. And I like the colors, the, all the tones. Um, there's nothing um, going out from the tone. So the, the author kept the tones very close. Uh, the tones are of browns and other shades in the brown. Um, I I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, if I had to do it myself, I wouldn't change one one thing. I like the the falling glass with a with a bit of liquid in it, and uh, I like the other bottle with the wine or whatever that is. Um, I like it very much. I, I, there's not much to add to it. Even the background is very beautiful. Uh, I would like to ask the author if, it, if it's a color or is it a, a sepia? I don't know. It, it looks like a Hello. color for me. Mario. <clears throat> uh, you're still on mute, Mario. I, I try to unmute you. Okay. Okay. The back is uh, with a soft light from the back. Which is with um, uh, what you call it for the color to change the color. I can get it. Uh, Set in what is Mario? Full yeah, color in Mario. The color. Oh, color the color gel. of the person. Color gel. That is the color gel. And uh, that's all. Oh, otherwise, it's all natural. The, was the, 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 was the table reflected. leveled, um, Mario? Should be. Oh. Because it yeah, seems it, that, it, it, because Brian is saying that it seems slightly tilted to the right. It might be. <laughs> Charles Kalea. Um, I'd like to say something about this image. Maybe, Mario, um, next time when you shoot something like this, put your product closer to the edge. I do not like the line cutting like... Uh, throughout the bottle, even on the glass, that. So if you put the bottle at the back, the baseline of the bottle 
will be with the line of the reflection. And obviously everything needs to move up further away. Um, yes. That is, and even the angle is very good. So I like the composition, I like the light. Um, it's a very well executed image. But that's the only thing that I might um, uh, I, recommend. Try it, I, try it that way. I tried a lot of positions, you know, but um, how can I say it? I had to hold some, some, uh, some things with only one hand. I had to manage with the other ones and I managed to, to get this. So. Well, it's a good image. It's a fantastic image, very well lit. But that's the one thing that the, the reason is so that you avoid that line cutting through this, the stem of yes, the glass. I totally the agree. In fact, I noticed it. But the, the thing is that you've got the, the, the glass that is um, uh, at, at lay, the, the one that, that is uh, horizontal, it is going through exactly the middle exactly. of it. So it does not yes, annoy yes. me that much. It helps because it's pretty nicely positioned there, whether it's consciously or not, it works. And so I, I said it as a, as a, as a um, ad edit. Yes, Joe, go ahead. One minute left. Okay, I, I Josh, just, I just heard Mario saying, you know, because my hands were, you know, busy with holding this. You know, I mean, it's it's a perfectly technically executed image, but um, again, we have to to learn to to reduce stuff from the picture. It is very busy with two glasses. Why why the the the, the leaning glass? You know, I mean, can, can you see my cursor or no? No. No. How do you how do you annotate Palisaginos? You know, I mean, look at the shape between the bottle and the standing glass, all right? The negative space. And the curve of the bottle and the curve of the glass. Uh, where you know, Joe? Sorry? This area, Joe, you mean? No, 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 no. More to the left. More to the left. So uh, take, take half the bottle and compose half the bottle into, into half the glass. You know, I mean, using using the shape in the middle and eliminating totally, and you know, the, the, nar the narrative would be stronger. You've got a more abstract, strong still life. You know, without, without the need of putting stuff in which which distracts from 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 the design of, of the photograph. You know, I don't know if I can annotate here, but I'm not sure. But go to the top and ask view options and there is annotate options or okay. yeah. all right so I'm, I'm i'm saying this now imagine that filling the frame you know i mean yeah mm -hmm. where you have two curves play interplaying with with each other with the negative space in the middle you know Mm. <clears throat> thanks. Well done, uh, Mario, and thanks, thanks for your thank you participation. Mr. Paul de Guara. Uh, a nice abstract, but it is difficult to see what you are actually seeing. There are too many uh, blues. I think I would open up some of those uh, shapes. And also maybe a human element, just one, would add more interest. This is a great abstract. Huh? I mean, I, I love this image. Yes, but I'm wondering what I'm seeing. I jumped in, sorry. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I agree with, with Joe, it's, it's an abstract, although it may be confuses you. But when you see it as a whole, um, it keeps me on trying to 
understand what's beneath, even go looking into those um, visible parts, showing that there's it's a school with a library and an office, yeah. and it, it's the only part that annoys me is this this part. It's a bit bright. Now. Yeah. Uh, there is no focal point in the picture. I, I agree with you, Paul, but it remains um, uh, an interesting image as it keeps you trying to understand what's what's beneath. Even the shapes, the shapes. The shapes are intriguing. I, I, I think, uh, in my opinion, Stephen, what, oh, Paul, sorry. I think, as Joe said, the fact that it is an abstract and I agree with him, it's a very good abstract. I think the focal point and the focal interest is the, the way that the texture and the whole thing that your eyes keeps going around and looking into the whole image. That's in this case, because it is, how can I say it? It is organized in the way, it's not busy. It's not a picture that you would say busy. There is quite a pattern which keeps you intriguing and that's, I think for me, that's the focal point. What I would have uh, amended or removed is the black part over there, because I think that's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's a different color to the tones. And the, I would say it's, it's, uh, it's a bit distracting. That's, that's the only thing that I would leave, that I would remove or amend, but otherwise I, I like it as it is. As photographers, we work with the process of selection, no? And I think this is a great example of, of, of the whole process. You know, we are artists and art should ask questions. And here you have, you have it, you know? I mean, um, you start looking at the picture, then you start understanding what it is. And uh, it's, it's, it's a very good slice of, of, the, whole, of the whole. So again, um, personally, I love it. Joe Magri, um, can, uh, would you like to ask something? Because this is his much. image. Yes, um, uh, I found it very difficult to crop. When I tried to crop to try and get a focal point, I found it very difficult because, uh, as you all have noticed, those are views of, uh, of a library across from a hotel I was staying at before, before whatever is happening in the world. Uh -huh. um, uh, uh, the the uh, the image and the uh, and the designs of those blank areas of that uh, whatever skyscraper or whatever it was it took me but uh, it's very difficult to uh, to decide how to crop it I didn't want to sort of lose the effect of it being uh, a building showing the inside in those different shapes. Yo, Johan said, said it said it well. It's like it looks like an event <laughs> calendar. <laughs> no chocolates available. Uh, Le Leonard, sorry, not not Johan. Leonard, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, in my, in my that, that pattern is very that pattern. That was as I said, very interesting. I am into architecture, as everybody knows. That's one of my my favorite subjects. Um, uh, and uh, and when I saw this uh, picture in the evening. I tried to balance it because it was a bit too dark. To that blue came out a bit too dark. But um, anyway, as we say, <laughs> it's an opinion. Thank, and thank you for it. thank thank you for your views, even Paul. Although he didn't agree with us, it does it doesn't mean that his opinion is not valid. No, we no, we no, see no. photography I, in a different way. I appreciate. All, all, all comments. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why, why we are. That's that's why we are here. That's why we're here. Nothing else. Otherwise, I would be watching television. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Alex Attart, let me open his mic. They remind me of something, these, huh? <laughs> when, it comes, when it comes to paper. I like, I like this image because 
it isn't just a photographic image. There is also an intervention. Um, so, I mean, it's a photographic image and it's uh, more on the artistic side. And uh, this work format works perfectly for this kind of, uh, for this kind of uh, image as you have it over here. And I think the, the way the lighter parts of the, of the image as well, they, they, they help you to really go around, go, go around it as the, as the photographer intended or the artist intended, whether I call him an artist now because it is more artistic. I would uh, <coughs> congratulate the, the photographer who did this because it's a, it's a good effort. Joe Attart, um, uh, would you like to ask something? Well, um, this was really, I, I, call, I call this paper play. Um, this is the result of um, COVID, <laughs> COVID closure at home. Um, I, was, I was playing around with, with, uh, with paper. Um, Wrinkled, wrinkled papers and falling papers and, and all, all type of uh, where paper comes in. And at, at that moment, at, at one particular moment, I thought of my mind going, going crazy, going round and things. And I remembered the twirl, that is the twirl filter in Photoshop. And uh, for me, that paper, it's uh, so, sort of um, fitted in that what I had in mind that that twirl and it for me it worked it's a it's a play I uh, mind which is, is, is but it's an intervention it's an artistic it's, intervention it's, which you uh -huh. which you it's created a, so and it works yeah it was it was great and I, I I'm I'm quite happy with it in fact I, I that's why I brought it but I brought it really so that um, even for the beginners um, uh, we will see that even with the with the with something as, as simple as a as a crumpled piece of paper, one can perhaps bring out something interesting that we can we can work at home from it. Um, do you like the, the 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 black and white of it? Excellent. I I love it. I think e it's, it's even 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 the way you treated it. Um, in fact, uh, it, because it's 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 good to have people chatting and one can read what others are thinking of it. Um, uh, it's creative, Joe. Um, as you said, the black and white. I like the black and white. You have the blacks, you have the whites, you have the grays. Um, it, it's, it's innovative, it's creative. It, it, one can learn from it as well, especially the new ones. We, we, we can, we, since we are spending more time at home, mm. maybe we can do some tabletop mm. photography, which we can then um, uh, put it into our editing software and try something new, uh, which catches the eye. Uh, yeah, uh, it works. Can I ask something? Would, would you leave those, those, those three lines of text there? I, I had a problem with that. <laughs> which what? Yes. Those the three lines of text. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 Joe. Uh, yes, you remove them. them, you would remove no, them? No, no, leave them no, there. No, 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 OK, leave OK, them. you agree with me there. Oh. Yes. Yes, I mean you, you did the wording darker as well, no purposely, I imagine. Yes, then, 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 if I, I didn't al uh, eliminate them, then I wanted them to be yes, sort of pronounced. Though. Yes, but well, they have a white background like that, you know. I mean, and uh, the, it's the subject, the, the, the center is so strong, you know, it's not going to divert from the uh, attention, and it gives you something else to 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 look into it. I mean, this falls into the category of a manipulated photograph, you know, it's not yes, a standard course, journalistic course. photograph. No. But no. it's an, an artistic intervention, you know, so which we're free to do if we want to do. Joe, can I suggest something, Joe? Yes, please do. Um, uh, I like the, the, the cropping, how you did it in a square format, but uh, wouldn't you uh, try to frame it in a way to create the golden spiral with it? Maybe you Just start with a base and then... I don't know, Ty, you have to look at it and you no, have to I experiment uh -huh. it. And it didn't occur to me, no, to be honest. It, the, the, the shape, the shape uh, really uh, cries for, for, the, for the spiral um, uh, composition. But I think as it is, it's almost uh, of a circular nature, 
for me, it's fitted in the in a square format yes, as it is. Definitely. And I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on on a side or or. No, not uh, on a side, not on a side, because you've got a shape. A bit, you say, oh. You've got a shape in a square format, and shapes in a square format. The format goes like that. Really, yes, really yes. well. Well, perhaps turn it around a bit, turn it, bringing bringing the, the 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 part going down to this to the side could be. Could be. It could, could work. Could it could work better. Yes, I, but I, I will try it out. It. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Joe Smith. <clears throat> yeah, um, it's a good architectural shot, good viewpoint, very symmetrical. Um, I'm not sure, I just, just a guess, maybe this, if the sky is original or if it, it's a graduation or I don't know, but I would have preferred to have some, some, some interest there, like a cloud formation or something like that. But yes, otherwise, um, like especially if it's, it's somebody who's starting off in photography, um, great tonal range, great treatment. Um, uh, yeah, for a moment, I, I thought maybe it was a, a reflected image, but it doesn't look look, look like it. So yeah. good effort, good effort. Again, a, a bit of a too, art too, too perfect, too artificial sky up there. Um, that's my only gripe about it. Um, not not so convincing in my opinion. It looks like more like a graduated shape, which has been filled in. in, in I might be wrong, of course, but again, um, the overall effect of the sky compared to what's happening around 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 it, the beautiful detail here and, huh? and the rest of of the leading lines, you know, it's a bit bland and and, and flat. Otherwise, good effort, Patrick. Sorry, yeah, uh, thank you. Um, it is a graduated sky, by the way. Um, it was just a plain, uh, boring grey sky, nothing happening. And the idea was to just give it an interest, like bring light in from the left, top left, and just light up to illuminate the area. Um, it was taken on a, a 10 mil uh, crop sensor, just to get the, because I, I've heard of people who bring their 24 to 70 lens and you just can't get it, get this building at all with it. So I have to bring a crop sensor. But generally speaking, yeah, you're dead right. It, it is a very bland sky. Um, I could be real kitsch and put an airplane going across or something, but I did. I don't do that. So thank you very much. Patrick, Patrick, if I may, um, as, as Joe said, um, uh, instead of a graduated sky, could you try maybe um, a sky with a long exposure? Have you ever tried it to start with? Maybe with, with some to create some movement. You take a sky with a long exposure, okay, and you create some movement. But if, if it was a flat sky, Vince, <laughs> there wouldn't be any movement. You know, I mean, there are no clouds or or something. You know. Yes. Yes. Obviously. No. No. What I'm saying, if you're waiting for having clouds formation instead of having just clouds because I think that if you have clouds as they are, they would take away, you know, the interest from the, the texture that's around. But if you have some movement, it would be different in my opinion. Any other questions? There's a question. May I ask Carm? There's somebody asking. Yeah, Mike, um, uh, let Carm, me... Let me unmute him. Okay. I'm trying to yes, unmute... Yes, um, yes, yes, I unmute him, Steve, okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Um. If there is uh, something in the sky, like clouds or so, uh, can you think that 
uh, it will lose the symmetry because it is very symmetrical. It is nice, the symmetry of it. It will be lost, the symmetry. That's why I suggested movement, just movement, so that you won't, your eyes won't go on the clouds, on the formation. If, yeah. they're, if they're in focus, what I'm saying, if they're in focus. That's it. That you would, the, you, your attention would, would, I mean, this strong part yes. of this image is the tonal range and that pattern that surrounds the frame. So I wouldn't take away the attention. It's my opinion, Tom, I may be wrong. But what, what I would have done is, um, I've seen similar shots like, like these um, of a particular author and mm -hmm. worked with a, with a long exposure. They really worked well, in my opinion. Alex was going to say something, please, in short. This is, a, I mean, one of those images that the, the more you stare of it, it starts, you start seeing it in a different way. The more I stare of it, it's, it, it reminds me of a theater, like you're at the back of a theater, you're seeing a screen and the, just, the, the film just, just went out. Um, uh, this guy, I mean, there's nothing for me more to add. However, um, perhaps one thing which might improve it as well could be that, you know, from top to bottom, from beneath, from beneath the, the corners of the building to the down, the lighting seems to be more or less the same. I think if you create a bit of shading, you know, because the lower you get, usually in a building, it is slightly, uh, there is slightly more shade. So if you create, you know, like a gradient from the bottom to the top from both sides, it will make it a bit more realistic because like that, it looks like an illuminated box of, uh, from, from every side. Just, just uh, a thought, you know? Johan? It's difficult to, to find something uh, bad in these photos. I, I like it very much. Uh, one thing I would have done, in my opinion, I would have toned down the white uh, clot just behind the head of the sitting person. But apart from that, I love it very much. Same thing, but maybe it's a little bit too contrasty and I would, because it's a periodic um, uh, image, I might like to see a little bit less contrast in it. And maybe even mute a little bit the colors uh, because um, I see that they're slightly saturated, like the skin tones, they're a bit too red. So maybe apply a, bl a black and white filter on it and uh, reduce the opacity until you just see a, a little bit of color. It will be sort of a pastel lato effect. And the, the contrast is, is interesting. However, it's a bit too contrasty, in my opinion, for a periodic uh, reenactment uh, image. What I would like to say to the author um, is pay attention when editing, um, it looks like um, uh, you have um, burned this area. You have this outline around this person, which is left and is very visible. So pay attention. Um, these are um, tiny and uh, tiny issues which attracts the eye, so pay attention. Emmanuel. Oh, <clears throat> uh, thank you for your feedback. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, this image was edited in camera raw only, and just uh, edit, uh, 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 let me see what was it. Uh, uh, so, I edited it uh, in Photoshop, just as I edited a, a solid color, and then uh, I uh, blended, blended it with the blend modes, that's all. 
maybe the contrast, that's why it came out so uh, heavy. I'll try it. I'll try to uh, fix it um, the way you all told me, and maybe I will make it better. But Thank you. Composition wise, Emmanuel, um, it's it's on even the lighting on on the two persons, the uh, the movement in the sense that they're looking at at one 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 spot. Um, uh, it, it's on uh, even the way um, you you cropped um, uh, the, the image. Any other My comments? Uh, yes, something else. The, the person on, um, on the on the left of, of us, that's it. Because there's a little bit of light hitting the nose. Maybe you can edit that to make it look a little bit more... Uh, because obviously there was direct sunshine, as I can see over here. It was harsh lighting mm -hmm. on it. So maybe you could mute it a little bit. With the editing, you can do that. It, you make it more pictorial rather than okay. you know, documentary, documentative. Okay, thank you, Charles. That is my opinion. That's not. That's, uh, of course. Joe Smith. Mm -hmm. Much more little, much you, you, uh, you're not seeing it? Not lift list up. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. I love this image for, for, for many reasons. The simplicity of it, um, the placement of the, you know, I mean, I don't want to sound like, um, but. Uh, Roland, Roland Barth, Roland Barth. I think Charles, Charles Kalea knows what, what I'm talking about. Was a French essayist who, who, who wrote extensively about photography, and he said, you know, a photograph should have two two things. He called them the studium and the punctum. The, stu the studium and punctum is something which pricks. The studium is the general story that is happening. The punctum is that something which pricks you, you know, and. Uh, the placement of the pigeon against these two like sort of flat background. Um, I find this very intriguing and, uh, you know, it, 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 it pricks me in an aesthetic sort of way, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, monochrome treatment, again, it's, uh, I don't mind the autofocus foreground because, again, my eye goes straight to the point of reference. Um, yes, if this is a beginner, I mean, I think it's going to go a long, a long way because you will. it's well seen. <laughs> Maybe if I want to, to, to pull a bit, pick up hairs, I would just um, crop slightly from the bottom and left hand side to, 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 to do away with that dark shadow so that the, the image would look flatter. And, and you know, and the, the, the main attraction of the pigeon would really come out to the fore. So I, I would just crop yeah, a little bit, darkening the bottom part. No, not really. I, I don't right. mind it the way it is because you know. I mean, my my eye goes straight to to the guy on the on the ledge. Um, or yeah, maybe yeah. some darkening would help. But what's what what's more important to me is that I would I would crop out this, this little left hand side dark corner and and proportionately a bit from the bottom. That's it. But yeah, I, I love the two flat shapes and then the pigeon popping out from from the composition. Okay, so thank you a lot for your feedback. I really appreciate it. And um, this was taken the outdoor session for the beginners course. And I submitted this photo because I was a bit concerned if the dark background is distracting from the pigeon. But I think it's clearly shot. I'm not sure. <laughs> but Hello. thank you for your feedback. I, I, also, I also love the fact that the, um, the composition is nearly like the line going down the middle, you know? It, it's a very bold decision to take, um, but it, it was very well executed. So, because the shapes balance themselves nicely and then they're offset with this little creature on, on the ledge. So, yeah, well done. 
Thank By you. the way, Joe, um, uh, Janneke is doing our beginner's course. Well done. Thank you. I'm going in there. <laughs> Thank you. Janneke. Stephen. <laughs> yes? Can I ask something to Janneke? Yes, of course. Did you try to use some techniques that we mentioned in the Compose Your Image module? Okay. Um, in that photo, um, I edited on a mobile software, but uh, I will try to edit it again on Photopea because I think it was even the black and white filter, the contrast would get better. Okay. More, you know, sharp editing. Yannicka yeah, is eager to learn. I had a <laughs> chat during this week about her images, about the whole work she submitted, and she is eager to learn and join our society as well from Gozo. <laughs> yes, thank you. Lewis. All right, yes. Um, this picture is quite quite old. I remember the occasion, I think. Um, probably I have I have one of this lady as well. So it goes it goes way back. Um I like I like um, the the model or the sitter or whatever is very very positioned in the right way, and her eyes are are looking at the cross. Um, I don't know if the cross was um, placed there afterwards. Um, it looks like that, but I I like even the light behind the, the lady. It uh, is very becoming. Um, and even the colors, I like I like the colors of the image. Um, very very, uh, it goes with this kind of uh, photography. Um, the the only thing that uh, is bothering me is the cross, the, the light, not the cross itself, but there's too much light coming from the cross, so that that is bothering me. Um, probably if it was muted a bit. Um, should have been better for me, but it's all in my opinion anyway. So, um, do I start your word? Uh, I, I see Lewis's point of the of that light, but I um, I wouldn't put that as as the major pro problem. If you want a problem, by the way, I like the photo, obviously, but um, uh, with the with the light falling on the on the crucifix. Um, obviously, your eyes go there, but the 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 eyes of the lady is not are not there. I mean, there isn't the the direct contact with uh, with the with the crucifix. If you were looking up um, towards the crucifix, I think it would be it would be much stronger the the image. You agree? Yes. Yeah, I think the perspective between the cross and uh, whatever is on the side of her. They are not correct. Could be, could be, could be. But but that is the, what what I see because the the execution of the of the lady with her with her clothing and the and the accessories, the background, the chair, uh, they are gloriously rendered. Eh? That 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 handbag, they're very very. It is very very good. Very well handled. Uh, but then the, the picture is built around the cross and the light falling on the cross. So since that is the main is the main the main part of the photograph, I think that the lady should have been looking at it. And the shirep. I believe the eyes are looking at the cross, but maybe the the head can be a little more tilted to be. Mm -hmm. But I believe the eyes are really looking up. 
I'm not seeing it like that, Tony. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you can see it. The cross was, by the way, the cross was a bit later on. There was no trigger. So I would have put it a bit lower down. I lower thought down. it was. It mm. was I, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. To, if it has been lower down, yeah, it you will lose the triangular effect. But I, it will have more it, meaning. It will become stronger, but yeah. I, I think I think Steve, instead of lowering the cross down, I think if she looked a bit up, as Joe yeah, said, yeah, of course, it, it's it's a question in this particular image. I think it's a, a type of image that you can get away with having the model looking sideways because you know it it, it, it you can get away with that if if she's looking particularly totally sideways, but. The fact if she had a little bit the head tilted, as Joe said, um, uh, slightly leaning back as looking upwards, I think it would have been stronger. Better, be better definitely. Sorry? It will be better, definitely, if she's looking it will, look, it, look, it will look better. Otherwise, it is, it is a, a very good image, even the light. I like the light. Uh, yes. Uh, mind you, it's a pity that we're talking about, about this, this thing, yeah? because uh, because uh, the, the most of the elements there in the image are really glorious. Eh? And that black on black, focus. That black on black. That that even 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 the, the details in the blacks yeah, are there. Yeah, details in the black. So the details, details are, the are, hands, the the the, the 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 attention to details, the the mm -hmm. the rings, the the handbag. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful rendition. So let's not forget that first. <laughs> Thank you. Charles Kaleya. <clears throat> okay. I like the abstract of this. I think tonality is good. The duotone treatment, I think, helps it, gives it a very cold feeling. Um, you feel lost in a, in a place like this. Um, nothing much I can say at the moment. Let me see. I think it works as it is. I, I, I don't, I cannot add or, or, or take away from, from this image. I, I think it's very well executed. Maybe there's something at the at the top or the bottom of in the center that looks like a, a line over there that's distracting a little bit. It could have been cleaned out. But I love the play of light and the simple image like this works. Alex, not no, hard. I agree with Charles completely about this. It's, it's, it's a kind of image which sort of like, it reminds you of infinity, you know, it draws you, it draws you in because it's wide and then it narrows and it, it directs you right down. There's a little bit of light at the bottom as well. At the most, just to say something, it really, um, perhaps, it doesn't bother me, it actually the whiteness on the, on, the, on, the, on the top, but it could be slightly, slightly toned down a bit, slightly, not much more, just not to have it so overpowering, but, like Charles said, it's a, it's a lovely image. George, Ilya. Yes, uh, this is the stairs in the upper baraka where, where yeah. there is the lift. Uh, that black line uh, in the center, that's the handrail at the bottom part. So, uh, I couldn't remove that, so I think it would be better if I leave it. If it is vertical from horizontal, what do you think, guys? I looked at it sideways, to be honest, but I think it works as it is. I think so. Because it's, it's something that uh, is not natural, uh, but it, it helps me to, to look at it like this. When I turn my head the other way, doesn't remain the same thing. See, so for the benefit of, of the of the beginners, yes, yes, for the benefit of the beginner joining us, an image like this will teach us that we need to to look at things. I, 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 I'm sure that John 
the best thing that he did here was first of all was to see it, because we we passed we passed close to our near similar things like this, and we don't we don't see that potential when when photographed. Don't forget that that uh, we are we are seeing so whatever we're seeing we're seeing in a, th a three dimensional uh, um, effect with our eyes and with our brains, but when exactly as we as we take the shot and we see it either on the monitor or in print form, it becomes a 2D rendition, so it, it will go flat. So what, what a good photographer can do or will do is to recreate as much as possible the 3D effect out of a 2D rendition. And this is exactly, exactly the, the essence of it. With those, those lights and the, the perspective of it, you can literally go through it, you can literally see through it. You, you can feel the 3D effect. For me, John, this is really absolute brilliance. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Thanks, John. Look at the blue treatment. That's uh, instead of keeping it just monotone black and white. Uh -huh. This looks something different. Uh, not always black and white, the same color. Very true. Pauline. Um, do you think this is a bit too bright? Uh, I would have personally, okay? Okay. I think um, I would have uh, softened the, light, the highlights. I think it would look better. These are snails, oh, if I'm seeing properly. Uh, we will ask the author then. <laughs> or, is it a, a taji, no. or is it food? <laughs> I think they are snails. The shot was taken in uh, Pembroke. Ah, snails, okay, real ones, did you feel it? Mush, not food. <laughs> Fossilized. <laughs> I agree totally with you that I should uh, darken a bit the... Uh... Yes, the highlights, they're a bit too much, I think. If you um, put down the highlights, it would be better, I think. Okay. <laughs> I, I had to edit with the Photoshop. Yes. In, yes. in fact, it was not so bright, but I, I had to brighten it to have the... the orange colors. Did you take it in raw? Uh, yes. Raw? So in Photoshop, in Camera Raw, you can manipulate okay. with the highlights and shadows. Okay. Um, Pauline, um, uh, tell me. Brian is, is new to photography, so oh, we, have okay. to, we have to pay attention when, when we say we but can edit. In time. Maybe he understands, but just to, just to let you know, he's also doing this starting photography course. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so also, probably he's uh, not into camera raw yet. I will experiment, don't worry. So no, we'll want to say something. Try, try. mentioned camera raw, in fact. Okay. Uh, Brian, um, apart from what Pauline mm -hmm. is saying, I also think that the out of focus area is too prominent and it's competing mm -hmm. with, with yes. the little part mm -hmm. that is in focus, you know, and uh, um, yes. it's, it's a bit confusing as a composition. So, um, you know, maybe I would like, maybe go, go tighter or, or because it's. I, I crop it more, you mean? Yeah, yeah you crop it more or yes, reshoot if you can, you know, or maybe go for a top shot. Where you can get an even plane of focus. Okay. Um, In fact, that was that is a part of a, a larger picture, actually. Hmm. I, I cropped it, uh, I think, by one third. Already, yeah. So. Already. Yeah. yeah. Um, so also, um, I'm not sure about this, but you can try it out as well, given that you have a lot of color tones, which tends to be mixing and a lot of casts. 
monochrome. I would try to experiment if it works in monochrome and and treat it as an abstract and try to you know um, uh, as Joe as Joe Smith said you would go inside um, uh, crop it and uh, try it out uh, in, in in monochrome be be the only thing okay. that I can see about this because you've got even um, different tones of color. You've got orange, you've got white, you've got yellow, you've got blue casts, you know? So it, it, it's kind of mixing as well. We've mentioned this, Brian, right? In the course. Yes, yes. yes. In we've fact, much, much more on the bluish color. Origin. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. When, we said, when we said between color and monochrome. Yes. Thank you for your feedback. Keep it up. Thank you. Alexander. I'm trying to unmute you, Alexander. A very nice photo. Obviously, it's a uh the right time of the day to take it with beautiful colors with the leading line going to the rock. Um, the treatment is nice as well. The composition is nice. The fact that it's, it's a vertical, it works, and it has the horizon not in the center also. It's as it should be. Um, I think there's nothing much to criticize the photo. The rendition is right. Even the color tones are nice. Process well done. Vince. Um, uh, I agree with Alex that the rendition is very nice, even the sky. One thing what I would have uh, done instead, um, I would have gone a bit slideway, sideways and got that from, uh, um, uh, not from the side, but from put, put the, the, the hill in the middle, you know, so that I've got a straight leading in from the middle, in my opinion, that's what I would have done, so that you would, um, uh, you wouldn't see it from, from uh, just, let me, let me show you with the annotate. It's we're taking it from here. I would add, I would have added detail from here, and I would have just the straight leading up to here, given that you chose rightly so, and I agree with you um, to compose this in a portrait, in 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 in, in a portrait format. So what I would have done is I would have placed the interesting part, which is this, the Araba and the leading line starting from below, and you did right. And I want to ask you, did you use focus stacking? The author is not you. here. The author is not here, okay. But if, if uh, I mean, the, the, the whole picture is in, in focus. So um, uh, you would have the lines, you know, leading up to this part over here, and obviously leading to the sky, which is also of main interest in this photo. Otherwise, on the whole, it's, on the whole, it's very pleasing. It's really, it's really nice. It's really nice. nice. Even the tonalities, the color, the texture, uh, sharpness, it's it's on. Mm Hmm. Interesting. First thing that, that comes to mind is saying it's interesting. The treatment of not of not the, the photo. Both both I can say, but it's uh, uh what what can I say? So let's 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 have a good look at it. The the um, the white area I can see that it is quite a lot on the top because there is the line 
the line which is uh, telling us um, how 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 tall this photograph is. Um, if it were a tiny bit less white, perhaps it, because it looks almost probably it is paper white. If it were um, toned down a bit, if it, if it could be toned down a bit, it, it would have made it, um, I think, made it a bit better. Uh, because the, the, the island and the man there, the human element, is like floating, they are floating on, on this, um, uh, on this, again, white, very, very light uh, patch of sea. Perhaps if it were darker all over a bit, even if we lose, I think even if I would lose the details in the, in the, in the rocks and in the men, having a complete silhouette and darken a bit, uh, and, and consequently darkening a bit the, the, both the sea and the sky, just a tiny bit, I think it would work better. And another thing would, would have been that the, the man uh, and the, 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 uh, the obviously the island, the, the, whatever the, it is there, <coughs> is not pro uh, pro protruding that much to the center because the man is exactly almost in the center. If it were more to the left or less, <coughs> more to the right, it would, I think it would have made a, pl a pleasanter photograph. But the way it was seen and it's, the way it's presented, uh, it, it's nice, it's good. I don't know, yeah. I don't know how, how, what, what the word on this. Or May this. I join in? Yes, Please. yes, Paul. Actually, I'm trying to see this picture on a gray background. It improves dramatically when you see it on a gray background because you can see the edges and you can see everything. <laughs> you know what I would have changed? I would have uh, put the fishing rod up at an angle. That's when I, had, I would have taken the shot. It would improve. But I love it. Thanks, thanks, Paul. Thank you. Charles Thank you. was yeah, going to say something before um, yes. handing over to Tessa, the author. Um, very little thing. You know, the, the, there's the horizon line. If you can try to edit it out, sort of it smoothens the, the I don't mind losing detail on the on the water. I like it as it is. I agree with Joe going just pretty much uh, very, very high contrast, but try to remove that, you know, it's very easy to edit. Mm -hmm. Just smooth it out. The the line of the horizon cutting the, the man. So it sort of it looks like sort of there's an infinite. I think it will improve it. You saying but with what, Photoshop? Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm I'm it's just learning that at the line. moment, so I'll I'll figure it with the blur, I presume. No, you, you can blur it, or you just just take a sample of white and paint over that area. Okay, very, very okay, painting. all so right. You can that sharp line. That is an an idea. Okay, and Gilbert also suggested mm -hmm. to try it in a square format, which I agree. Uh, yes, I tried it as well in square format. What happened for me, this was more about solitude. And I wanted to leave it larger, if you like, mm -hmm. because it portrayed more of the solitude feeling that I wanted to get. And that is why I took off quite a lot of detail. To be fair, there wasn't even a single cloud in the sky. What happened, this was at Chocoa. Um, I went to take photos. It's about the third time I've gone to try and take photos of the old lighthouse there. Uh, but uh, it was at sunset, so the sun was setting just to the right of the fishermen. And there was nothing happening in the sky. So my photos of the actual lighthouse didn't really work. So I was trying something else. And I saw this guy. I agree. I kept trying to, I waited. I was there for about 45 minutes to an hour just waiting for him to put it up every time. he This was the only time he stood up. Otherwise, he was sitting. And sitting, he got lost in the... In fact, there's another guy, but you can't even see him. To the left of him, there's another guy, and he's sitting down as well, but you can't see him. So when he sat down, I lost it. So as soon as he stood up, I just took it, and he, he didn't take... He didn't put the... Um, 
fishing rod up, unfortunately, it would have been better. And as well, I would have preferred him looking out towards the sunset. As it is, he's looking to his left, which it bugs me a little bit because it sort of says that there's something happening which takes off from that solitude idea. Tessa, since you mentioned solitude, I think that this is why uh, Job mentioned, you know, cropping from the left side. It will mm -hmm. emphasize more the solitude because you leave a little bit more blank on the side. True, the negative very side. true. I tried as well, but there's another rock which was getting into my frame with my oh, white Just crop, crop the image. Crop the uh -huh. image from I, the I, I'm not very good with, uh -huh. I need to edit. I could have taken it out maybe then. The... You want to let me know, I will, I'll help you out. <laughs> On the because on the le on the right there was another rock which was just in the middle of the sea and I, uh -huh. but I agree yes not to have it to have it on the line of of thirds and so on. Sorry, Tessa. Having said what I said about the, the, the photograph because I didn't know it was coming from to be honest from um, somebody uh, almost a beginner because I cannot edit. because I thought honestly I thought it was coming from somebody who is uh, much more than a beginner. Yes, thank you. So, <laughs> but don't worry, you critique. So, <laughs> I, I like it when no. you critique it because I only learn from yeah, it. We yeah, try to, we try to learn it too. But um, uh, I can see the effort and I can, and, and I can see, I can, I can appreciate the fact that you, all you said, is that you were seeing it and you wanted to achieve a feeling, the feeling of solitude. Mm -hmm. That is something which I like very much in a photographer, that, the, that when you're shooting, when you're taking a photograph, you have already set up your mind on what you're seeing and what you want to achieve by that. Mm -hmm. Rosa, keep it up, Tessa. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, if I may say something, narrative is important. And, and you know, it's, it's as Joe said, it's all there. Mm -hmm. um, I, maybe a, probably a square crop would work better and the solitude yes, would yes. be there. But I wouldn't touch anything else because... Thank you. You've got a beautiful milky, milky sky. It's not totally white. I, I can, I can see it from here, you know, and it's really no, offsetting. This was at sunset. In fact, the sun, I yeah, can't remember if it was about to hit the horizon or it had just gone under the horizon. I can't remember because I was there like half an hour before and half an hour after. So I, I was hoping a, something would happen and nothing did. But I think a square crop would suit it perfectly. I, I, I believe. Uh -huh. I was hoping to get the second fisherman, but as well, he just yeah, didn't want to stand up. Fisherman. You have to go with what you find. You know? Who needs the second fisherman? Who needs no, exactly. No, In I the don't way, think it, so. was, it worked out I better. Agree, no, I don't think Less is more. Yes, 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 I agree. I agree. Well done. But for me, I like the story side and the feel. My technique isn't always that good, but I'm, it is, it is. This is what I'm no learning now. No the, story, the story is important. You know, I, I, I always say, we're not after perfect pictures. We are we are after great photographs, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that's what makes a great photograph. Narrative, composition, and and that 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 something which pricks you, that which, which shocks you in an aesthetic way, you know? I mean mm -hmm. this is not turned into black and white either. This I took in camera. It was a bit of a mistake because it was uh, I had taken a photo the first shot and I forgot to set the camera for. And it came out all white. I'm like, oh, oh this is cool. So then I said, okay, with that, then I said, let me see if I can try and get something with that. And it worked. I wasn't sure if it would. It was just playing around when I had nothing else working. You know what I mean? The scene Next. I actually went for. Keep, keep it up, Tessa. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Leonard. Yeah, but can I use this number? Hmm. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a mysterious image, to, in, my, in my opinion. Uh, the bench on the right, the bench on the right is, 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 is distracting, unfortunately, in my opinion. I would uh, 
And then there is a lot of detail, like over sharpening in the background where the lamppost is. And the, uh, the carrot, you know, the cab should have been um, just lit, lit, lit better since, since it, it is the main subject of, of the image. And uh, the, 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 it, it is too much on the brown side also. Anthony, Shreya. Uh, I love this image. Um, the color <laughs> rendering it's given, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, all right, maybe the color, the color thing can be a little brighter, but in all, it's a very pleasing and very tranquil place to go. And the Karatine is, everybody knows that Karatine is walking on this narrow street and gives you the right picture about the bench of what bench is there anyway, you cannot take it. It's a, it's a recorded of a, recorded of a street. Okay, you can play about maybe moving here and there, but we must talk on this one. It's, I believe it's, it's a very nice color and to give you please photos to, to see it if it's a print. <laughs> Cropping like that, why not? Like maybe you can crop a little bit, why not? But, uh, but still, I don't like the it. image in my opinion. And, and the- and Can you take a lot of, uh, take of all of too much emphasis on the, on the, on the cap? Because which, which, again, uh, the street that, is part of the cap. That, that, that it belongs that, there. That, 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 that is the subject, but no. The cap, yeah, no, man. not the street. You must put it in in in, uh, in, com in context with the, with the place. So. It is still there, the place. The place is still no, there. Yeah, the, no. the alley is still there, in my opinion. Yes, I agree no with, I agree with we... Leonardo. Would it be better if the Karotsi, you know, it would be facing towards you rather than shooting from the back? It's I don't know what. One way, yeah, um, Alex. Yes, one way. That's one way, Alex. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Ty, from, from, from what you're saying, from what you're saying, what is making the picture, in my opinion, is this hand. We bush. Yes. Um, uh, because otherwise, it, it it would have looked like other shots we've already seen of this 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 carrot scene, this cab. Um, uh, moving in this alley. Even um, the uh, tonalities, the brown tonalities, um, in my opinion, it suits um, uh, this, this picture. I think that it's a little bit over sharpened. Overworked. It is. So pay attention. I don't know if the author is here. I'm trying to check out. Um, uh, <coughs> So yes, that I will, yes, I, okay, I opened the mic. Okay, yes, no way. I agree with you uh, that bench is a bit an eyesore. Uh, I had a few seconds when I noticed this cab and I had a few seconds to take the shot and the color, uh, I wanted to get away from the usual color or black and white and give it this tonality, which makes the place even look maybe even more peaceful, sort of. Well, I will try to uh, crop as suggested and uh, we'll see how it works. And I agree, maybe the over sharpening too. Rosette. Thanks, Noel. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Five to go, Lahua. Mr. Kaleya. Nice. I like the mood in this picture, the way it's, it's done, the way it's seen. Um, the atmosphere is all right. Uh, another picture that I, I actually cannot fault at all. Um, uh, no, there is no need for a subject in the image. There is a subject. 
Um, yeah, this is, it works well. I don't even, I was thinking maybe cropping a little bit from the bottom, but uh, no, I, I'd leave it as it is. I, I like it. Beautiful. It's a little bit on the blues, the, the, the blue tone on the sky it looks a little bit off in my opinion, but it could have been the, re the reality in, in that situation. I don't, I'm not so sure. That no. looks like it's got some toning here. Joe, I thought you were going to say something, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Steve. Beautiful, this is what, for me, what photography is. Steve, it's about, and it's 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 very 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 nice, <clears throat> very well presented, very well seen, and very well taken, and very well presented. Uh, I love the depth of it. I, I love the depth. I am uh, Japanese style, sort of. The atmosphere, the atmospheric, uh, the atmospheric uh, depth in it um, is, is is something beautiful. Something yeah. really 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 beautiful. I don't mind the blues. Uh, because I associate the blues also, also with the skies and the, the, with that kind of blues, with the, with the light brown, with the beige in the middle and then going to the brown is, is, is working for me. And the position of those, of those um, uh, bushes and the trees at the back are, are glorious. This is a glorious image, guys. Yes, you know yes. what I am very finicky or, or fit? Do you know what I would have removed? This is one of those images which I would live with, with it hanging on my, yes. on my, in my office. This is com competition material, I would say. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. I mean, Lena, yeah, you were going to say something. I don't know uh, on my pre I'm on my monitor, but I would have liked some more detail in, in, in the bushes. I don't know, but my mind looks uh, yeah, over there exactly. Mine looks a bit dark. Agree. Uh, mm -hmm. Agree. Yeah. I don't. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's not my monitor. No. <laughs> and obviously, the, the, the stone in the front center, Maria Santa. Throw, throw away the monitor. Let us be at the bottom. I see. I saw. Yes, are you were going to say something? Uh, would you like uh, to intervene? Uh, let me open your mic. No, I just commented that it's beautiful. I love it. But no, I, I don't know why you think I had to say something. Okay. No, no, but it's it's a gorgeous photo. I commented about it though. I love the I love the color schemes, the blues going to the browns. I think they really complement each other, those two colors. Those were the days. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I love the mist. I wish I need to wake up a bit earlier myself to get that sort of shot. You have to go to Toscana also. As well, as well. Yes. Soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a classical example of aerial perspective. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Whose shot is it? He's not here. Um, uh, it's uh, Mark Chicluna. It's very nice. Alex Attart. Uh, this is a classic, you know, mm. photograph, and uh, it's really well well taken. I like the the way it, the background fades into into nothing practically, you know, and. Uh, the way the figures are, are are caught, although they're not all coming the same way and that way, you know, it, it, they're still they still work well in the picture, and I really can't can't find anything which I would which I would really, you know, I mean, almost okay. a brasson, eh? Mm -hmm. almost a brasson. Yes. Yes. One of those period pictures reproduced somehow, yeah. and, and uh, it it works perfect because there's a bit of mist in the background, you know, and. There is so much difference in the in the in the in the tones between the the, the foreground and the background, you know, and uh, and I think the way it's 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 cropped as well, it's it's it works well because you've got the lines leading leading right there, you know, as well. I think it really whoever did this deserves, you know, uh, congratulations for it. Joe Smith, great, great, great street photograph. What is bugging me? I don't know if I'm, I'm seeing correctly because I'm on my laptop. Um, 
let me just annotate. Did the, did the author affect some dodging here? Yeah, I mean, and the rest, the rest is, is really black here. <clears throat> um, looks, I don't know, maybe he wanted some detail and then maybe he held back a bit with the dodging tool. I'm not sure, but it, that's the first thing that struck me. Otherwise, you know, it's uh, beautiful lines, great composition. Yeah. Even the black and white. Yes, yeah, exactly. fantastic. That's the only Um this is my photo. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this was a very foggy morning, and it's the first time that I edited something with fog, and I wasn't really sure how it would come out, but I'm pleased that, that it was liked by you. Um, about the dodging, it could be, yes, that I wanted some more light there. Uh, it could be. I have to see my file. See what you, don't I... need, you don't need it, Pauline, there. Okay. Maybe not, because not I wanted it. to lighten a bit the figures. I don't think you need it. As Joe said, I mean, the, if your eyes go there, it's... Uh, I'm it's a, a beautiful black. black. I have to check. I, don't mind I will it. check yeah. what I did. The what story, I did. The story is not, it's not on the details in the patients. And the, the story is not that. What I did was to add some light to the, to the posts. To the lamp posts mm -hmm. because they were dark, so I added some light. Lamp posts are nice. Okay. Just one question, guys, to everyone. Because it's dark on the bottom and very light on the top, there's sort of a line going through the middle. Is that bothering you? Sort of you splitting the image between the bright and the light? Because there's the no. Yeah, I love the composition. But <laughs> there's there's part of the composition, you know, and the lamp post. Part of the composition. That's but part maybe copying from, from the, the bottom, post, maybe. The lamp posts break that line, Charles, what you're saying. Uh -huh. So that 50 50 thing is that's part of the strength of the composition, you know? And uh, yes, I, I, I agree with breaking the rules, but I, I just wanted to raise the question. I'm not saying. Love it. And the lampposts hold the two sides together, the top and the bottom. You know, guys, I have to go. Um, Thank, thanks a lot, Joe, for sorry, for man. your contribution. Thank you. Keep Thank up you, guys. Thank you. I'm here. Same yeah, here. Joe, take care. <laughs> up, no? I'll, I'll give you a call in coming days. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Travel hard. Process. Thank you. Pauline. I've seen this photo already. It's, I like it. It's uh, like, it uh, gives you a mysterious feeling. The, the, the net over the lady, it, it tells you know, what is there behind it. This. Um, I, I, I like this image. Um, uh, first of all, um, uh, it's the, the, the fact that the author managed to um, get that, you know, that effect on, on the model's face. I like it because it is a different kind of portrait. What I don't like is the fact that she's got that shadow, a very harsh shadow. So I would have done something either to uh, position the model differently or else, um, because there are, the, the, the shadows tend to be uh, a, bit, a bit harsh. Otherwise, I like the fact that um, there is the shadow of the texture on the model's face. Um, uh, even though maybe the, 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 the shadow seem to be a bit harsh, but it's something, I mean, different from traditional portraits that we see, um, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a little bit, please. Yes, yes, sure. Um, uh, it reminds me of the old masters, like Julia Margaret Cameron, the station, station. Um, maybe something like this needs a little bit toning down a little bit. It's too, a bit too contrasty. So giving it sort of a mood, giving it a feeling. So 
we study the old masters and try to replicate maybe the same technique and from 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 our digital side. Um, obviously, uh, Julia Margaret Cameron used to have a very soft feeling to, to her work. Um, this, but it reminds me like Stai Stai um, uh, you know, with the shadows. And uh, you know, I don't mind the shadow on the face, but maybe it's a bit too dark. Even the the clothing, it's a bit too black. And this is what I would like to see, a little bit sort of a softer image. It tends to give the, the expression of the, of the lady has got a soft uh, expression. So this is why I'm, I'm saying so. Just my two pence. Patrick Hogan. Gotcha. Okay. Um, the only thing I, I, it's obviously shot around F16 with the, the twinkly lights and the stars in the lights. Um, it's slightly out of focus, Stephen, to me. Um, that's all I say about it. Um, but otherwise, it's I like I like the streaks. I like the movement in it. Uh, like the the street lights, uh, the twinkle in them. But just a little bit unfocused to me. That's all. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, Patrick. Um, Paul de Guara. Obviously, it's a long exposure. Color balance might be a little bit too warm. Mm. Uh, well, it is moody and nice. But uh, is it really art an artistic photo? If this is a new, uh, it's a, a beginner, um, Paul. Oh, oh, I see. That makes it uh, all right. Sorry, sorry. Lost it. Uh -huh. uh, let me, let me, let me share it again. Sorry. Yes. In that case, I think this was a, 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 a training exercise. <laughs> let me share it again. Sorry, guys. What happened? Just a question uh, until you get the, the picture. Yeah. That image that we had shot from, from the ground with the bland sky with the uh, of the building in, in, in the courtyard. Whose was it? It's Patrick Hogan's. All right. I, I just took a screenshot and I put it in a in an inverse. Um, uh, I inverted it so it looks like a negative. Try it that way. Just see how how it looks. And just the black and white image, just invert it. Control and I in Photoshop. Um, it looks like um, it's a bit silly. Lace. Um, it's lace. like it looks like lace. If you, if you, but it's something that maybe you can play around with from a different angle. Sorry to take you away from this image, but until you, you found it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, just uh, maybe a slight improvement would be to include the top of the building, which is right in the center. Because that is cropped, yes. And maybe that star effect on the uh, on that lamppost is not really attractive. Mm. It's the obstructing the effect. Your it's, eyes go immediately on it. You go to, uh, towards it. But on the whole, if it is a long exposure exercise, uh, it worked. Even there is a cast in the sky. Yeah. Yes, yes, there's a color balance problem. The author is, is it's, she is not with us. Maybe she's uh, following us on uh, the Malta Photographic Society 
um, streaming on the Facebook page. So, um, I think we have the last one, Viz. Can you yes, kindly yes. confirm? Yes, yes. So, um, yes, the last one, Stephen. This is the last one. We have asked the author to send it to us in the higher resolution. Unfortunately, um, I don't know if he, I, I don't think he's with us, but this is the image he sent us. No, he's not with us, Stephen. Alex, a third. Well, you can't really tell much from a small picture like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it, seem, it seems to be some kind of a uh, drone shot there, so I imagine. Air, or aerial shot. Aerial shot, too. From, from, from uh, a drone shot, it's an, it's an aerial shot. Or maybe it was on a... A hot water balloon. <laughs> 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 I was flying with... I think he was flying with Paul. Uh, I go too fast for that. Helicopter, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's not fair to criticize this picture. Yeah, I, I agree. Because you can't really judge it in, a, in any... In a, <clears throat> no. But, but Alex, what I want to do, um, I want, I wish to say is that when sending your photos, kindly try to um, uh, edit them and send them to us uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels, please. 1920 pixels with 1080 no, pixels no, no. height. And if you're going to downsize them, always downsize them 72 dpi using by cubic sharper. It's in the bottom part. You will see it. By cubic sharper, it will render it in the best possible way. You won't lose details. You will see it. I mean, I mean, you will see it from the um, uh, the menu down 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 below in the save as dialog. We will, Stephen, we can share these when we do uh, the next promo of the next photo. Uh, yes, we'll thing. give them the size. We will give them these details now. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, and, and it's very easy to choose this, what I'm saying. It's not, it's not something technical at all. Yeah. So for next yeah. week, um, who will be with yeah. us, Vince? Ne um, uh, next week, we will be having um, Andre Gelancea. Uh, Andre Gelanze, um, obviously, is the son of Raymond Gelanze, the late Raymond Gelanze, who um, uh, was a, a member of the society, a very well respected photographer, especially in the Zabbar area, who um, uh, obviously is no longer with us. And Andre, obviously, his son is take, has taken over uh, their photography business, and uh, obviously, he's going to share with us. Um, some some of his father's photos. He had some award-winning photos as well. It's going to be a very very interesting webinar. So please please um, uh, do do join us for another interesting webinar. Thank yes, you so all for for joining yeah, this webinar. Yeah, we have, I mean, it, it, it was another. It, it was another. Stephen, we, we were saying actually we were. Um, <laughs> We were, very worried because we had 19 we, images to, to share tonight and yes. uh, we were worried last time we had 11 but we today 11. we managed when, to the message um, the message was was went went very well and we were chatting Stephen and myself I said we, if we're going to have this hopefully we will have eh, this great participation in the club we need definitely to and your premises to, and new premises new premises but we hope that but i would have... like to thank yes this i would like to thank um all those um uh, persons who kindly accepted my invitation to be yes. with us tonight to give their opinion uh, we have with us here charles alex um uh, Mr. Joe Smith left, and also Joe Attart, um, Pauline, uh, Leonard, uh, all those who um, accepted to give their analysis and views to, to all of you. Thank you, thank you a lot, because your um, uh, critique is uh, very well welcomed. Um, uh, I invite you to send suggestions um, to keep improving these webinars because without your help and, and your 
um, uh, attendance, we, we couldn't um, uh, keep uh, going on like this. Thanks, thanks to all. Thanks, Vince. I, I, I also yeah. want to thank the, the new ones, the, 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 new, the new participants, the, the beginners, because um, I was a beginner once, and uh, I know the feeling that to share your photos amongst experienced photographers, sometimes uh, it's not easy. So thank you for sharing your work and for putting it up for critique, um, uh, because obviously in this way you're going to learn and we, we create a, a healthy discussion. So thank you and we really appreciate that from our side. Stephen, I think we can we can conclude, right? Um, yes, yes. Thank you, Yosef, for streaming live thank again you, today. Yosef. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We we'll see you next week. And remember, guys, the virus is still with us, so keep safe and uh, see you next week. <laughs> thank you all. Thank thanks, you. thanks to all. Thanks. Thank you.